So in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the member protection feature within Zappable. So what does that do? Well, it effectively just prevents access to your app by asking people to log in. So if you're on a membership site and you want to build an app to accompany your membership site, well then you can use the member protection feature. Maybe you have an app which you want to build for an intercompany app well then you can use a member protection feature, then staff can enter in the password to access the app. There are numerous uses for this feature. So to add it, you just click on the plus symbol, and you can go down and click edit, and you'll see here app password, logo, register link, and the text at the bottom, and then the button text. So for this example, I'm just gonna make the password test. And then I'm going to add a logo and then the register link. So you could link this to your website just in case people install your app and they don't have access. I mean, for example, if you have a member protected app, you can put it into the Google Play Store, the iOS Store, and you can also add screenshots. You can add a really good description. So people will install the app, they'll see that they can't access, and then they'll click on register because they want to see more details like the register for your service and then you can take them to your website then the bottom text you can say want access click on the register text if you have forgotten your password please contact our support and support At support at email.com. Button text can be submit. And then I'll just click on save. And then what do you see what happens when I update and preview? You can see here now that my app is now password protected. So you'll see the purple in the background. If you click on theme settings, color picker, you can change it to be whatever color, whatever color you wish. I'll just click on save back color. We'll go back, we'll click on update and preview again. And you can see the background changes to represent the colors that you choose. And people can log in. password and they'll log into your app. Now the way this works is it will remember users login details so they don't need to log in every time they open the app. However when you change the password, so I'll just show you now, click on save. Whenever you change the password it resets and then users will need to log in again with the new password. So let me show you. Two, submit. And there you go. So that's how you can now protect your apps with password protection. So there's quite a few ways you can make this work. Maybe you build an app and it's for your newsletter subscribers only. Well, then each month you can email them with the new password. Not only that, send them a push notification, let them know. By the way, the password for access to XYZ app this month is in your email now. So they're aware that you've just emailed them or you can tell them, please log into the members area to get your new password for this month. So doing so adds an extra sort of valuable asset to your business because not only that if you have clients who have membership sites we well can now offer them services to build an app for them because a lot of people pay to have membership sites set up well you can now add on well listen we will also set up a mobile app for you in the ios store and the google play store as well so if you have a membership site 
You can use the video gallery to add in any videos that you post in it. You can use static pages to add in any articles. Use the website URL feature to link to specific secret links. PDF reader if you want to add ebooks, audio gallery to add podcasts or members only audio. So there's a lot of uses the member protected apps can have. So feel free to post in the forum what you will be using the member protection for in your apps.